Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve example 3.6 from Sadiku book. So this is mass analysis with three loops. So the question is, use mass analysis to find the current I0 in the circuit in figure 3.20. So mass analysis means that we need to use KVL, the Kirchhoff voltage law. Okay. But let's see what can we get from here. I think we are need to find out I0. But we need to diverge a bit. Here we need to see this node A here. We can see from this that we can do KCL at node A. So we will have KCL at node A. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out, right? Okay, here in not A, the only current that goes in is I1. So I will have I1 here. And then the other currents is going out. So I will have I0. And then we will have plus I2. But then I want to isolate I0. Because he, it is the current that we are looking for. So we will have I0 is equal to I1 minus I2. Okay, maybe let's put this in a box because this will be important later. Right, because I0 is I1 minus I2, we need to find out I1 and I2. And that is the one that we need to do by KVL. Okay. Let's do KVL at loop I1. Okay, let's exactly do that. KVL at loop I1. What does KVL say? KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. But we need to be very careful about the sign of KVL. The voltage, I mean. So let's see this loop here. This is I1. And the current is flowing from the negative terminal to positive terminal. So our sign for this voltage is negative. So I will have minus. And then the magnitude is 24. Okay. And then we need to find out the other components. Let's go clockwise here. So I will have 10 ohm. So we'll have 10. But remember, this is a resistance. So, but we need voltage. So we need to multiply it by the current. So we are currently working on I1. So I1 came first. But then here, I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I will have minus I2. Good. Now let's go to other components, which is this 12 ohm. So I will have 12 here. And then currently we are working at I1, so I will have I1 here. Okay, but here I3 is flowing to the other direction, so I will have minus I3. Good, all of that will equal to zero. Okay, now let's put this, let's simplify this. So I will have 10 plus 12, that will be 22, right? 22 I1. Okay, I2 only comes from this, so I will have minus 10 I2, and then I3 only came from this, and so I will have minus 12 I3. And let's move this minus 24 to the right hand side, so I will have 24. Okay, I think nothing that we can do from here. Let's save this as equation number one, and let's highlight that so we don't forget. Good. Now let's do another KVL, but this time at loop I2. Let's do KVL at loop I2. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Let's start from this component here. We will have 10, 10 ohm. But remember, this is resistance, so we need to multiply it by currents. Currently, we are working in I2, so I2 came first. But then, I1 is flowing to the opposite direction of I2. So, I will have minus I1. Good. 
and then the second component is this 24 ohm so we will have plus 24 then multiplied by i2 but oh nothing the only current that pass through it is this i2 good and then the last component in this loop is this 4 ohm resistor so we'll have 4 multiplied by i2 we play the same game and here i3 is flowing to the opposite direction so i'll have minus i3 all of that will equal to zero okay now let's simplify things here i will have minus 10 multiplied by i1 and then i2 came from here 10 plus 24 plus 4 so we will have 28 plus 10 that will be 38 and this is i2 i3 only came from here so we will have minus 4 i3 all of that will equal to zero okay maybe save this equation because nothing that we can do from here let's highlight that and we still need to do one more loop here at i3 but our slide is full let's clean the slide first okay now let's do another kvl this time at the last loop here which is i3 so let's do another kvl but this time at loop number three loop i3 again kvl said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero good we will have 12 and then multiplied by i3 but here i1 is flowing to the opposite direction so i have minus i1 good and then the second component is this 4 ohm resistor so we'll have 4 multiplied by i3 then minus i2 good and then the last component is this voltage source but here the current is flowing from the positive terminal to the negative terminal so we'll have positive sign and the magnitude is 4i0 so we'll have 4i0 all of that will equal to 0 but here i0 is this one so let's plug that into this we will have 12i3 minus i1 and then plus 4i3 minus i2 and then plus 4 multiplied by i1 minus i2 i1 minus i2 all of that is equal to 0 okay now let's do simplification i1 came from this here minus 12 plus 4 which is minus 8 so we'll have minus 8 i1 Okay, I2 comes from here, so I will have minus 4 and minus 4. That will be minus 8 I2. Okay, and then I3 only comes from this and this. So we'll have 12 plus 4. That will be plus 16 I3. All of that will equal to 0. And this is our third equation. Okay. So now we have three equations with three variables. And the fastest way to calculate that is by using calculator. Let's set this up. So this one. And then equation solver is number five. Three variables is number two. And here we can just plug the coefficients here. So we will have 22. And then minus 10. And then minus 12. Okay, and then that will equal to 24. Good, that is the first equation which is become the first row of this matrix. And the second one, we will have minus 10. And then 38. And then minus 4. And then a 0. Good, and then the last equation, we will have minus 8 and then minus 8 and then 16 and then 0 
Okay, so we will have I1 here, which is 2.25. I1 is 2.25. And the unit is ampere. And what is I2? I2 is the Y value. So we will have this 0 0.75. 0 0.75 ampere. And then what is I3? I3 is the Z value, which is 1.5. So we'll have 1.5 ampere. However, the question asks about I0. I0 is I1 minus I2. So I0 is I1 minus I2. So we will have I0 is 2.25 minus 0 0.75 what is i0 i0 is well, let's calculate that 2.25 minus 0 0.75 okay that will be 1.5 the unit is ampere and let's put this in the box and highlight it so we know that this is the final so this is the step-by-step -step tutorial for solving these examples. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.